Hi guys! I am getting ready to go run some last minute errands and I'm going to do a quick face. I'm super super excited to show off my rose gold shimmer um, <clears throat> shadow scents. So I'm putting on some just daily facial moisturizer which I love and totally need right now because if you can see I got a little pink from going to the tanning bed, which is weird because I even put like a towel over my face for the second half of it. I kind of got let it on there for a little bit and then put it over my face for the second half. So I got like a little pink. No big deal. I am going to find my color correcting tinted moisturizer first. That would be good. Here we go. I'm going to use my silk and my medium CCTM because I'm getting a little more color so normally in the winter I'm light and in the summer I am um, medium based on color but since I'm trying to get a little bit of color before I go to Costa Rica I've just been to the tanning bed twice just to get me a little base tan for a couple reasons one um, I don't want to totally burn when I get there and if you go there like L Whitey like I am right now I'm totally gonna burn so I know like sunscreen and all but still it'll just happen but if I give myself a little bit of a base tan it won't do that that was with the silk and I just press that into my skin with a beauty blender okay I'm going for the CCTM next and I usually just squirt like a little section on each it's not like a full pump at all um, and then I take like a stippling brush, something like this, and then just um, lightly tap that all around my face. So um, the other reason that I heard tanning beds were good for the winter is that I actually heard they have good results for like if you get the winter blues, which I tend to get because I hate going outside and I just get like... I don't know, like it's harder to motivate me to go out and stuff. <laughs> just like want to stay inside. Now if there's any other reason, I hate the cold. So I absolutely hate the cold. But it does put me in kind of a funk. And so I heard that these tanning beds, I heard that there's also like little lamps you can buy. Um, hold on. So um, between getting a little bit of a base tan, there's three reasons actually. So getting a little bit of a base tan, Helping out with the summer blues, which I am all about. Um, I also heard, <laughs> and I believe, I don't know why this is. I just it's something the society has done to us, I guess. But that you look better tan when you're a little overweight. So <laughs> I put on a few pounds over winter. I'm gonna be wearing a swimsuit. I don't need gleaming white. Um, rolls. I really just don't. <laughs> no, I don't know what I'm going to have. I really, I bought a cute vintage suit, which I like because they are, it's one of my favorite styles anyways, is the vintage suits. I'm trying to find my brush to do my brows. Hold on. I think this will work. Okay. Um, one of my favorite looks is like a vintage like 50s 60s look so I love that anyways but what I also love about it is that it's high waisted and that is tends to be like my problem area is my tummy so it gives more coverage over the tum tum and as a mother of four and somebody who's had a nice comfort eat food eaten winter <laughs> I'm much more comfortable in that cute vintage um, high-waisted suit so thank goodness for that because I would never uh, wear a two-piece for sure um, unless it was high-waisted not not in my current condition I wouldn't so anywho, I think it'll be cute I have a couple different tops and the same bottom and then I think I might have one no that's also a two-piece I have one other two piece that's it's not really high waisted, but it's not low waisted either. Um, that's cute, like polka dots and flowers. All of them are kind of retro y. 
which is fine by me because like I said, I love that style. Speaking of, that's kind of the style we're going to go with in our wedding too. So how fun is that? Sorry that I can't be live with you guys. I just had to just record this and then I'm going to post it because Facebook isn't letting me post live. I don't know why. I'm not in Facebook jail or anything. I don't know what's happening. I need to call my phone company. I don't know if it has to do with my Wi-Fi or my cell phone. If any of you have any tips, please drop it in the comments and let me know. But I've been able to do them forever and now all of a sudden, every time I try to, at least for my home, I am going to test it outside my house, but for my home it says cannot get enough signal. I've tried it with the Wi-Fi on and off, get the same message. So that's annoying. Okay. But you guys can comment and I can still respond. And I'm so, so, so excited for tomorrow because tomorrow is travel day and we're going to be heading to Miami, which I've never been. So that'll be fun. And Senegis is paying for that extra day of travel. So woohoo. Okay. Rose gold shimmer is freaking gorgeousness. Who is ready to see the rose gold? Okay, I'm just going to do a fast look. I have to go pick up my daughter from school and have lots to do today. My kids are in a um, photo shoot today for their rock band. Look at that. Oh. My kids are in a photo shoot today for their rock band. And um, they have chosen to wear their animal onesies that we got them for Christmas. Which is hilarious. Because they're like teenagers in animal suits and they're a rock band. And that's just cute. So whatever. I have to get them ready for that though. And so I am just showing you the fastest, easiest way to apply our shadow scents. You don't even need a brush if you don't want to. So I always show you my fancy fluffy brushes. You know what? Just pat it on your lid and head out the door. This is me trying to show you the super easy application. I'm putting like the same color pretty much across my whole lid. I'm going most of the way up to my brow, not all of the way up. I'm going from the main part of my lid, above my crease, and then I'm just leaving the brow part by itself. And then I'll probably put some sandstone pearl shimmer up there just to make it like kind of like a highlight where it like graduates to a lighter, lighter shimmer. But I'm going for the shimmer today. I'm going for the shimmer. Why not? I'm just going to take my finger again. This is like the fastest, easiest look I could teach you guys. For those of you guys like, I can't do this. It's too much. That's too hard. Like, no, you can do that. That was so easy. See how easy that is? Boom. Now I'm going to put on a color that's a very neutral nude <clears throat> called Dawn Rising. So look at this. Look at these eyes though guys. See how easy that was? Is that not gorgeous? I mean I'm just, ugh. You really can't go wrong. You cannot mess that up. Okay, this color is called Dawn Rising. I'm going to put it on right now. And it's just a uh, Oh, I do that to dry it at the same time. Kind of suck in. <laughs> it is um, a brownish color, like a light brown. Go around the outer side of my lines. Let's get that cupid to really good. Come out to the bottom a little bit more. So I kind of just go around the outline. And then I light my waterline dry. And do a final sweep. Roll my brush around the waterline after I wiped it dry. Okay, I am going to put a smidge of pink champagne on top of that. 
just a smidge in the highlight. And then right there and right there, just two little dots. And that just makes it look like the, um, like a powdier lip, like the sun has hit it and it's just glowing. I'm going to put sand gloss on, pumping the wand to make sure that natural botanical gets mixed in there good. Look at how pretty that lip is. How pretty is that? Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of color to the cheeks and then I'm good. So, I will do, I'm just going to add a little bit of one of our darker foundations for a contour to give me some brown, which would be the same as using our deep concealer or, um, or Garnet or Mocha Java Shadow Sense or our Bronze Blush Sense. Any of those would do the same thing. Just depends on what I have right in front of me when I do it. Carry that up a little bit. Down the sides of the nose. You don't have to do this, but I do it for, um, gives you like a little bit of dimension and color. So you're not just like flat, one color skin tone. It gives you more shadows and shape to your face. Okay, that looks a little bit dark right there. So just rub it with your hands if it looks a little dark. Bring in more where you want to see more. And then I will just kind of go over usually what I do if I feel like I have like a little bit too much in an area. I'll take my original foundation brush and just kind of dust that out with a foundation. I still have like some leftover foundation. I usually kind of go over all the areas that I just did just to even that out. And I've got, I can see like a little bit of a flaw right here. That's just like oh, a little bit of a mark left from a zit that tried to start, but I killed it with spot on. So it's still just a little pink, but it's flat. So I'm just going to recolor that with a little bit of lighter foundation. So I'm using lighter, a lighter foundation just to kind of highlight Woo! anywhere that needs a little bit of a highlight. And this is like a 10 minute quick, fast look. So did that in 10 minutes, guys. What do you think?